Hey everybody, it's Joe from Papa Joe Bo's. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the Wheel of Time series from Amazon. I finally bit the bullet and decided to watch one of these shows that I knew was going to be a virtual signaling mess and a woke nightmare and a storytelling nightmare that doesn't hold true to the books. And boy, was I right. And other people had told me, but I think on a channel like this, you have to go out there and watch things that you may not want to watch. So you can consider it me watching it for you. This book right here is one of the best books ever written. It is, uh, in my opinion, one of the top three fantasy novels ever written with Lord of the Rings series. I consider that all one book being number one, The Hobbit being number two, and this is my number three fantasy read. I've read it probably 10 times. I love it. Um, having said that, I went ahead and I read the rest of the Robert Jordan series, and uh, I loved the first five or so books. Uh, they start trailing off, and Robert Jordan, like so many authors before him making money, decided to extend a six-book series into, you know, what did it become? 14 books. And he, he kind of went for the money, right? Like a lot of authors do. I don't know if I, you know, wouldn't do the same in his position. However, it really uh, made the book series suffer. So before we go into the review, I want to let you know what I think about the books. Uh, I love the first five. I mean, I'd give them a 10 out of 10. He starts to talk about fashion a lot in the books. And I learned a lot more about um, dresses and stitching and buttons and all that crap. I never wanted to know about it. He really does this. He, he, there's pages of it that I can remember of him doing. And I was like, what is he doing? This isn't fantasy. Um, another problem with the book series is... Uh, he introduces a race of Mary Sue's. Uh, this might be controversial to some of you who love it, but I believe the Sension is an entire empire of Mary Sue's. I didn't like a lot of that storyline, and it didn't work out for me in the end. They basically just marched to Shio Ghoul with no problems, and they could have just taken over the Dark One themselves. At least it was almost written that way. By the time Brandon Sanderson got around to um, uh, writing the last three books, which he did a brilliant job of with some guy you know, handing him his opus and saying, you know, finish it before I die or after I die. And he did. And he did a really wonderful job. Having said that, I've only read those books once each because I didn't like the way it ended. I'm obviously going to talk about some spoilers here. Um, I didn't like Egwene's story. It became very boring. Um, and then she died. She's a main character. You don't kill off, kill off your main characters. I'm a firm believer in that. And then Rand dying at the end and switching bodies was just stupid to me and him fighting a giant black cl gas cloud at the end was oh i hated that i'll be honest with you i didn't enjoy it so if i'm going to give the overall series you know maybe a seven out of ten um there's still a ton of stuff in there to love and like even with those things that i didn't having said that like i said this is one of the best books of all time uh lord of the rings series being Number one, The Hobbit being number two, and this is my third go-to fantasy book. The Amazon Wheel of Time series is not the Wheel of Time at all. All they did was borrow the name and then insert all of their own bullcrap in it. They changed storylines. Is it? Let's just start with this. The first thing that they do well, and the only thing I think they do well, is they got some actors who know how to act. I told them the roles that they wanted to play and they played them. I don't blame the actors for this. I'm not someone who goes after actors unless you come out on Twitter or social media and, and you act like a nut and say some really stupid things to people. Then I'll go after you a little bit. However, these actors did a fine job. I hadn't heard of most of them and uh, they, they did well in the roles they were asked to play. Most of them. Okay. The guy playing Perrin, uh, not so much. However, fine, whatever. A couple of the special effects shots uh, that actually don't suck because most of them do would be a far away cinematic shot of the environment and then a couple up close face shots what I, I don't even know if it was CGI of the troll ox a couple of them looked looked cool other than that the special effects are horrible they look like something out of Stargate SG-1 post Showtime after Showtime got rid of it and they had all those you know kind of cheap set pieces and they did a good job of that. I love SG-1, but this, no, it looks horrible for the budget they had. The woke stuff in it, yes, it is woke. It is so overtly woke 
that it's ridiculous. So the Wheel of Time has, uh, Robert Jordan wrote it so that there were a bunch of different cities and uh, basically countries within the Westlands, and they were all inhabited by certain races, with the exception of Tarvalon, which was a diverse city center, okay? Here's the problem with race swapping the way that they did in the two rivers, and they did race swap. It's bizarre. They didn't need to do it. You have plenty of opportunities out there within this world to introduce yourself to all these other races. And that's actually part of the fun in the books. And they completely ruined it in the name of cultural Marxism or uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, identity politics. It was horrible that they did this. Now, again, the actors playing them, most of them were good, but then they've got a lot of the casting wrong in terms of look like the uh, uh, Egwene. She doesn't look like that in my mind at all. Uh, I don't think she was written like that. Her mom, her dad looked more like the Tuatha. Um, and their, her dad, especially, is he, he's a big, fat, round, you know, innkeeper in the movies. He's the exact polar opposite of that. That's small beans compared to the rest of the stuff they do in this film. Um, I don't understand why they couldn't just stick to the lore other than to get their virtual signaling in. Um, you got to get that in there, right? The next thing is Robert Jordan's books are written uh, around women. They are. Um, the three main characters are Rand, uh, Matt, and Perrin, and that's where it's mostly written around. Uh, but there is a ton of involvement of women in these books, and it's done pretty well. Uh, some of it gets annoying in the books. It's not necessarily woke. I don't think I never thought of that. I just thought, man, you're overdoing this. If you think Robert Jordan overdid a little bit, these guys just take it to another level. And they don't need to. That's the point. They have absolutely no reason to be doing this. The lore dictates that you're going to get your chances to get your representation and your virtual signaling in without, without screwing with the lore. It's already there. But they had to do it early and often, and they had to make sure that their voice was heard loud and proud early on. There's a specific scene where the Trollocs invade the two rivers, and all these women surround a Trolloc and stab him to death with gardening tools. Not the men. Men didn't do anything in it. It was all the women. It was an MCU moment that was cringe as hell. There's Landman Dragoran, who is Moraine's um, warder, and he looks nothing, nothing. This was this guy was so miscast. He looks nothing like the warder from the books. In the books, he's about 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, he's huge. He's like a brick wall. He shows no emotion. This guy's showing emotion. He doesn't introduce himself to the show, to the books, by coming into an inn and then taking his, hat, his uh, hood off dramatically and saying, I'm Landman Dragoran. It's asinine. It is stupid. It is horrible. And that's only the beginning of the character um, assassinations that happen in this show. Um, there is a checklist we can go down. It is probably 90% off. Uh, the first thing that I hate, that I loathe, is that the Dragon Reborn uh, now apparently has a, a, a possibility of being a woman. No, it doesn't. That's never in the books. It's always known that it's going to be a boy around the age of 20, 19, 20, okay? That's it. They added her in. Why, again, virtue signaling? But there was no need to. There's no need to. There's so much stuff here that they could have done, and they decided not to do it. Um, the, the biggest bright spot in this show is Barney Harris. And, of course, what did they do with the best actor in their show? They fired him because he wouldn't get the jab. Yeah, so complete idiots, complete virtual signaling morons that made this show, and they've ruined it. There's also the fact that the wisdom... Uh, can be married in the books and then they decide to make it this storyline where you can't be for some reason why i don't know why at the beginning they shove Egwene into a i call her Egwin when i read the books but i'm trying to correct and call her Egwene. but shoved her into a river that doesn't happen in the books and then rand don't even get me started on rand he's the dragon reborn he is the focus of the books he should be the focus of the show and he's not Simple as that. Um, there's some smaller gripes, like everything's way too clean uh, from the sets, especially the clothing. It looks like they just came out of, you know, like your local area, Walmart for the two rivers. It looks awful. And then they've taken the story and they've bastardized it. I don't know if I can continue watching this, but I think uh, for the sake of my fans, 
for the sake of people watching who want to know about this stuff, I'm going to try to. Uh, what do you think about the show? I've only watched one episode, and this is already all the stuff I've seen wrong with it. It is not the Wheel of Time. It is the Wheel of Women or the Wheel of Moraine or the Wheel of Diversity. And it is asinine because, like I said, it doesn't need to go that way. You have every opportunity to introduce all these different women and races later on. Why jump into it so quick? Why, why do you have to virtue signal? I know the answer to that. It's about a message and it's disgusting. I am probably going to try to watch the rest of this show for you guys and suffer through it. Let me know what you think in the comments about it. And thanks for watching. I'm Joe from Papa Jobos. Peace.